So what is a knowledge graph? A knowledge graph is the combination of your data with its meaning. Knowledge graphs were designed to capture and provide context to the many connections that exist within your data. The best way to explain a knowledge graph that has stuck with me over the years is that knowledge graphs represent data intelligently as things. These things, also referred to as entities, are then interlinked to form a larger domain of knowledge. The context definition within knowledge graphs is a layer that can exist separately from the data itself, providing flexibility to define multiple context layers over the same underlying data that are most appropriate for each of your data's end users. The beauty of knowledge graphs is how they provide an abstraction away from the physical data. This means knowledge graphs sit on top and even across many of the data sources within an organization's data ecosystem. Now a little bit of history. Knowledge graphs were built out of the semantic web and have a rich technical history for logical reasoning. While important to the builders of knowledge graphs, the outcome of that work is simple. More than the raw data can be captured in knowledge graphs without requiring that the data exists explicitly in the graph. This practice is referred to as reasoning, and these insights are based on logical rules that apply to your graph. So maybe you have data specifying family trees, you can create a rule that captures if a parent has a brother, then that brother is the uncle of the parent's child. This data is not stored in your graph, but that rule is, and the rule can be automatically used when querying the knowledge graph. Therefore, these reasoned insights can be evaluated when consumers of your knowledge graph are asking questions, not when the rule was created. This becomes really powerful when combined with data sources that are continuously being updated. One way knowledge graphs can access data is through virtualization. Virtualization means no copying or persisting of data you already have stored, but instead enables a knowledge graph to query those data sources where they live with the addition of the contextual layer added by the knowledge graph. Circling back to the semantic foundation knowledge graphs are built on, knowledge graphs make use of RDF, resource description frameworks, to build RDF schemas, a taxonomy of meaningful terms and their hierarchies. These taxonomies then support ontologies, meaningful terms and their relationships, as well as rules used for inferring these relationships. The knowledge graphs builds on these foundations to produce a semantic layer that enriches and infuses additional context into the data. This allows end users to ask questions of a knowledge graph based on how things exist in the real world. So there we have it, a knowledge graph in a nutshell. Knowledge graphs are a framework and a platform for capturing your data, wherever it lives, and the meaningful context surrounding your data and then make use of that context to infer additional insights.